Well, good morning. How you doing? It's Master Garino here today. I want to talk a little bit about the sidekick, but more importantly about explosion in your technique. Many people develop a very good punch or kick and it looks very clean. And if you were to watch them and take a picture of it, like a snapshot, it would look beautiful. But what might be missing is the explosion. And there's really no way for us to teach you to explode, but I want to urge you to not just work on muscling through your technique. For example, a lot of times when people are kicking, they get very tense and they pull it up and it's like, oh, they shove it. We don't want to shove our kicks. We want to make sure that we are pushing um, at the quickest possible moment. And I call it a nanosecond. Uh, I want you to think about how fast can I get my foot up, out, and back? Because the speed is what makes the power. Uh, we just broke four boards, but if I would have done a slow kick, it wouldn't have broken them. If I've done a medium kick, it probably would have pushed a couple and broke a couple. But what you want to look for is that moment of impact at maximum velocity. And the only thing I can tell you to work on that is to have your feet here and practice, first of all, picking your knee up. You just keep picking the knee up fast. Once you learn to pick it up, I, I need you to think about pushing it out or throwing the kick. So don't just muscle it. You pick it up and you throw. Throw. Same thing. I, I should be able to do that all day long because my muscle, I shouldn't say my muscle, my power is coming from my legs and rooted in my feet, directed by my hips. You may notice when I kick, this arm is pulling back. Watch this arm. This arm pulling back is helping turn my hip into my kick. I'm trying to get as much trunk and hip rotation as possible at the quickest speed. So when you're throwing that side kick, don't just use your knee. We call this like a knee kick, where it's just knee and there's no hip motion. You want to get your body into that so you're turning. Again, watch, throw the side kick, throw the side kick. The next important part is what are you hitting with? Am I hitting with the side of the foot, the bottom of the foot? Try to use your heel as the striking surface. Try to use the corner of your heel as the striking surface once you get used to it. Because the smaller the striking surface, the more power is concentrated into that area. Uh, for instance, if you slap somebody, it stings, but it's not going to break anything. If you punch somebody with your whole hand, it's going to hurt and possibly break something. If you get the first knuckle or two on there, you're concentrating all of your power into a smaller surface you'll get more power. So remember when you're throwing the side kick, don't push it. Throw it as if you were throwing a ball or you were trying to hit a fly in the air. I think that might be a good idea to think more of trying to tag something really quickly because when we think about a big stationary target, we tend to tense up and shove rather than think about there's a little object moving in the air and as soon as it's in the right spot, you gotta nail it. So that's my side kick tip for today. I hope you're having a great holiday season as we go through it. Train hard, train often, and you'll be the best you can be.